Hi, I'm Isabel Madison, founder of Mood On Me, and I'm here with Seth Burns, one of my Hello. favorite makeup artists in the world. And we're gonna do a little makeup tutorial with a lot of questions, a lot of advice, and some magic. A little bit of magic. <laughs> How can you have anything going on with this beautiful face? <laughs> Perfect. So I want I first before we start I want to know a little bit about how you got into this beauty world. Oh my goodness! All those years ago. So I guess it would start uh, as a little boy in Louisiana who had a sister, has a sister, had a sister who uh, went all over the state of Louisiana doing beauty pageants, and anyone who's familiar with uh, beauty pageants in the South, you know it's quite a competitive sport. So, we were, I was dragged all over the state of Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas while she was competing in these pageants. And lo and behold, here I am backstage helping them get ready, helping to put on foundation, helping to do this and that, and getting her ready oh, for this fun. event. So, there was a, a very influential age, and I learned how this all works from that arena. And then fast forward all these years, uh, here I am. And, you know, I've stuck in this industry because I love that makeup has a direct impact on someone's life. A, a, a woman so can true. be empowered with her so makeup, true. whether how little or how much she wears, okay. it's truly empowering. I love it. Yeah. No, no. If it, I think when women feel beautiful or pampered, they just take over. Absolutely. They can do anything. You look good, you feel good. Yeah, you and feel I think good. that uh, and makeup is such an easy way to accomplish this, to uh, enhance what you love about yourself. Yeah. And if you love your eyes, yeah. Play up your eyes. You love your lips. Play up your lips, cheekbones, what have you. It's a great opportunity. It's a great way to have a little bit of magic in your day to day life. So true. So true. So let's get I started. Can't wait. I can't wait. I'm actually going out tonight. So oh, perfect. I'm like ready for you. So this look is we're gonna call this the new sensuale, Ooh. the sensual nude. Play on nude on V. Uh, we're just going to really smoke the eye out uh, with a very sensual and uh, elegant sexy look uh, for um, Isabella's dinner tonight. So Thank let's get you. started. Let's have fun. Wait. We're going to be using everything from the Doodle Bee collection today. Uh, I'm so excited to create this look. Uh, the first shot we're going to use is uh, Desire. And Desire uh, is, is a beautiful peach tone that can be used all over the lid. Uh, it can be used to enhance the color that you already have on or it can be used as a little bit of cheek color if you're on the go. So I love that everything in the, in the brand is so versatile uh, and this product especially is one of my absolute favorites. I'm actually going to use this product wet. So I've already wet my brush mm. and I'm going to take just a small amount of product and then just apply it to Isabel's lid. This is actually my favorite shade. This is my baby. I love it so much. I use it every single day. So I'm just taking this from the lash to the eye orbital. orbital. And just very softly blending it out so there's no harsh lines. And just instantly gives a really mesmerical look to the lid. So our next shade in this eye look is Bewitch. And this is one of my favorite shadows of the collection as well because it's a beautiful, universally flattering, warm, rust shade. Uh, and what we're going to do is take this shade just on the lower portion of the lid to create dimension in the eye. So again, just right on the lower part of the lid, right to the lash line, and just smudging it in, just like this. And then you can also take it, this is a little if you'll look up for me, we're going to start to create smoke in the eye, so I'm just going to take it just on the lower lash as well. I love that you do a smoky eye with peaches and pinks and neutrals. Because everyone thinks the smoky eye is just black and like dark and harsh. And this is just so beautiful, soft. Perfect. Sorry. So our smoky shade is going to be divine. And Divine is going to be used to add extra drama to the eye. We're just going to take this along the upper and lower lash line, and then also in the corner of the eye to create a little more drama. So first off, I'm going to use a wet 
uh, brush, just a tiny one, to use it as an eyeliner. And that's something you can really do any day, every day. I do um, that every day, before it, I go to yoga. I mean, I it's easy. Dampen my little tiny little thin brush, stick it in there, put a little on, good to go. So all you're going to do is just take a small amount of this product, a little bit goes a very long way, don't overuse it. It's always easier to add than it is to take away. Always remember that. If you put too much on, you're going to have to start over. It's easier just to take smaller amounts and just keep adding to create the desired effect rather than just going for it. Because going for it doesn't always work out in your interest, best so interest. True. So, taking a small amount, close your eyes. And these me. are super pigmented. You're right. They're very, very pigmented. A little goes a long way. Seth, you speak fluent French, right? Uh, nearly. I, you know, I don't <laughs> think I speak any language fluently. There's so many, even the English language, there's so many words that we don't even use, you know, on yeah, a daily basis. Yeah, you speak French beautifully. Thank you so much. You can admit it. I love it. So again, taking this to define the lower lash line as well, and just smoking it right along. You'll see them lightly tapping the shadow. And then you can slowly start to build it upward as well on the upper lid. Did you just put water on the brush or setting spray? You can use either or, I mean, truly. It all depends on your personal preference. Um, if you don't have a setting spray, um, one, you should get one because it helps to set everything at the end. But it's great to use for things like this as long as you don't have any silicone or anything that may have an adverse re effect to the product itself. You want to make sure you're maintaining the integrity of your product. But otherwise, have at it. Use what bed works best for you, whatever you find to be most uh, nourishing, easiest to use. That's what yeah. you should use. If water's great, dip a little water. Otherwise, just mist it. Um, but you can see already what we've done with Isabel's eye, how it just creates this bigger eye. So it is really well defined, uh, creating more dimension. So this is divine. We're using to smoke the eye a little more. I mentioned earlier we're going to take it into the outer corner. We're taking it to the outer corner and really just creating a little bit more drama. So this is the sensual, the sensual roman yeah. romantic, sensual. Open. And also I would recommend, if you look straight ahead for me, taking it and doing a little bit with your eye actually open because you'll be able to see what you're doing. A lot of times you close your eye, you don't expect to get to see what you're doing with your shadow. So you doing a little bit open it helps you gauge where you're putting it, if you're putting it in the right space, if you're lifting it up, or if it's going to have a downward turn to it. So you can see where we kind of took it up and out, and we'll kind of have a little bit of a finished version, just a bit, where we're taking it up and out uh, to lift the eye and to open it. So all of them, except for Destiny, have a little bit of shimmer in it, mm -hmm. right? You see? Right how it's got that shimmer so it's not too flat. I think shimmer is just so flattering, whether it's on the cheek, on the lips, especially on the lips and the lids. I think it's just... I think your, your shimmer is flattering because it's pearl, correct? Is right. where you're getting your shimmer yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't, it melts and almost melts into the skin. So when you're using it with your finger, you can truly get um, that effect, uh, the really blended effect without having like a chunky glitter. It melts into uh, the eye better or the skin better. So it's a little more flattering. Yeah, it's a very soft, so most of them are very soft, but it just adds dimension, especially on the lips. I, I, I need to have that shimmer. So we're going to take Divine again, which is the same shade we used to create the intense smoky eye. We're going to use it as a liner, which we did in the beginning, but this time we're going to use it to add a little bit more definition to the eye. We have our brush that's re-wet to add intensity. I've dipped it into the shadow, and we're going to tap it just into the lash line and really creating that blackout lash. It's so important to have that lash completely filled in because uh, you'll see, you don't want to see skin. I think that ruins the look for any 
um, shadow look, whether, whether it be a natural look or a smoky look, just because you don't want to see a little bit of that skin showing it's lighter than the rest of the look and it just doesn't look finished. So by tapping it into the eye lash line, if you look down towards me, you're going to complete the line. So at home when you're doing this, if you look down into your mirror, if you have a hand mirror, set it onto your vanity, look down into it, you can actually get right into the lash line because you'll have a little more control over your eye, you won't have as much blinking, and you can get that nice, crisp lash line. Okay, I have a question for you. Hit me. So I want your opinion on people that have like deep set eyes, eyes that are too far away, eyes that are too close, like how do you play, how do you make it work better? Like if they're too close to each other, the liner should be not all the way in, right? It should be more on the outer edges. I think that That's definitely, I think, but... I think it definitely has something to, to do with <laughs> not completing the line, but also you have to take consideration, not just the, the separation of the eye, but also um, the shape of the eye. Because you may have someone who has these big, beautiful, open eyes, and they're maybe closer together. And if you keep it just to the outside, oh. you're going to make the eye look even bigger. And maybe they don't want their eye to look as big. Oh. So I think it, it depends on several factors as to how you yeah. want to do their eyeliner. Um, because if their eyes are super far apart and they have um, larger eyes, they may want to continue keep it to the outside because it makes the eyes look bigger. Right. Whereas if they're closer together, uh, you may want to have it all completed across because the eye looks smaller and it gives a little more proportion to the face. Yeah, you're right. You know, I think it's yeah. so important to create proportion. Makeup is designed for proportion and enhancement rather than to cover up fully. Uh, and so that's part of uh, enhancing your, what yeah. your, your natural beauty or whatever you love about yourself. You're right. Some people do have extra large yeah. eyes, right? Like I never think about it because my eyes are not super big and I'm always thinking how do I make them look a little larger. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some people do have that where they do want it to go in all the way and make them look a little yeah. less large. Right. It's all about creating proportion in the face. Just okay. like if someone has um, an eye that's slightly smaller than the other eye, we all no one is completely proportioned except for maybe a couple super marbles in the world. Uh, but to create symmetry, you may want to add a little bit more depth or a little more of a, um, a thicker okay. line to one eye to add a little bit more uh, or to create a little more symmetry in the, in the eye. Totally, totally. So I'm going to actually finish up with this look by taking uh, our, the liner aspect of it. If you'll look up for me, uh, I'm going to smudge, look up for me, just smudge here and really polishing it up and feel free to smoke and smudge as much as you like to to create as much drama as you like. That's one of the things about makeup but there's absolutely no rules. You make your own rules about makeup and I think that's what's so empowering about uh, about makeup in general is you can literally decide how you want to look and how you want uh, to present yourself to the world. And I think you're so right. It's good to start with less and just keep layering and Absolutely. adding more. You can always go a little deeper, add more, especially in the beginning of the day. I think you should start less right. with less. And the beauty of, I think with my brand, is which, what we, it, which is what I wanted, is to be able to add. And all the shades work so well together, right? Because you've used like right. four shades already. And even with what we've done today, that was kind of a, a transition from day to night as well. We gave you this really beautiful look with the first two shadows. And then we kind of segued into this yeah. beautiful, you know, super glamorous, new sensuel look <laughs> that is <laughs> so that. flattering <laughs> and elegant, uh, but still very sexy and very uh, sauvage or, you know, just wild. And I think that's what's so spectacular wild. about Oh about, uh, these products, it's, it's always you should always have a little, be a little bit of wild. Little no one is going to be the same. I always yeah. have a little sexiness. A little girly. Yeah, I always have a little sexy. temptation. Totally, I love it. I love it. Perfect. So it's it's definitely the ethos of the brand. Absolutely. Natural, can, sexy, feminine. At all, absolutely. You 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 allow your you are the 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 you control your 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 makeup. You control what you show to the world, and I think you can do it with completely nude, or you can do it with a super sexy, smoky eye, but still be in the nude family. I think that's what's so yeah. beautiful and unique about your brand is you can truly create these. Um, Glamorous, gorgeous, mesmerical eyes. Different um, looks. Different looks with, with just a few shadows. You have a wardrobe of, of looks. Thank you. So Isabel, tell me about this little jewel. This is the highlighter. 
Um, I've been working on this for a long time. Powder, cream, no cream, no powder. Now hy hyaluronic acid has been added to it. It has a golden, dewy, creamy, beautiful formula. Not too like highlighted when you put it on, just like this luminous, wet feel, look. Um, um, I can't wait for you to try it and put it on me. Here we go, let's, like let's dive in. <laughs> so as you can see, it just the pigment in this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I just if you can see how it just reflects light, it's absolutely incredible. So uh, I'm gonna use just um, uh, a thick smudging brush or a foundation brush to lightly, so of course, it's always easier to add than it is to take away. So we're going to start with a small amount. If you'll turn your head slightly this way. And we're going to stipple it onto the skin. And you can see it just gives a really wet, dewy look to the skin. This product looks like it could really be used for um, someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup. Um, likes a really natural look. You can put it. Looks. You could probably even put this on your lid too, if you wanted to. Just kind of take it with your fingertip, apply it to the lid for a nice dewy look to the lid. Probably use the shadow base if you'd like as well. It's so versatile, like most everything else in this brand. But you could just see right here how it just gives this really gorgeous, gorgeous luminosity. I need to put that on the high cheekbone, just in the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. And then you can also take a small amount with your ring finger or whatever finger you choose and pat it right here just on the cupid's bow on the outer edge of the upper lip to kind of give more of a pout and that's going to kind of pave the way for our lipstick when we get to that step so you like it it's gorgeous it's perfect <laughs> i just didn't want something that's too light or too dark i felt like this is more of a skin tone it just blends in kind of well but gives it that beautiful look it's gorgeous it's universally really flattering as well which is really one of the great things about this whole brand the whole collection is universally flattering which i absolutely adore so the reason we like to use like a highlighter like this is what's your opinion you're bringing light to the face you're uh, accentuating the things that you love about your face and also it's great for lifting those cheekbones up uh, and adding dimension so it's all about create, creating dimension if you're all one color if you're all one um, texture or what have you then it kind of uh, you kind of lose some of the dimension in the face so we're basically yeah. using highlighter to put dimension back into the face like why well, we put it right here along the uh, high cheekbone the bridge of the nose we're bringing those features out and accentuating them uh, to create balance and proportion symmetry and are to basically reintroduce it after putting foundation on. I think it kind of makes us look younger too. Absolutely. You know? Brightness brings you, yeah. Like a youthful do. Right. That's what we're going to call it. Well, you even think about when Chanel used to wear so many pearls to bring light to her face. Mm -hmm. And that's why you had pearls. She wore pearls, pearls, pearls to bring light to her face. Yeah. Bringing a light to your face is very flattering for the most part. Yeah. So you're yeah. reintroducing the light back to your face. We're putting pearl on the face. Putting pearl on the face, exactly. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now I'm introducing to you this amazing cheek color, it's a cream cheek called Greatness. And it's going to go right on top of Goddess, which was the highlighter from just before. And you'll have to forgive us, guys. We have a little bit of a situation in the helicopter up here. It won't leave us alone. There were four, now there's one. So <laughs> as long as you can bear with the sound of one, we'll continue. Uh, but apologies if you can hear it in the background. So Isabel, tell us about this amazing cheek color, Greatness. Greatness has a bit of pink, a bit of depth to it. There's a little bit of plum. Um, it's very youthful. It still has warmth, but it's great for all skin tones again. Yeah, universally flattering. I can't wait to try this on you. So let's dive in. We're gonna try Greatness. And again, Greatness is going right on top of Goddess, which was step one uh, for this whole look for the cheek highlight. Um, also with Goddess, to kind of segue to, into this product, Goddess can also be used if you're going out for the evening and you want to accentuate your collarbone, oh, yeah. you can also pop a little on the collarbone to kind of uh, give more definition and dimension just there as well. So without further ado, greatness, taking our same brush that we use for Goddess and we're going to lightly tap and, it. And I love color on the cheeks. I think it just... Again, it's all about being 
youthful, girly, feminine, a little bit of like a flush, flushed look on the face. And you put it right here on the apple of the cheek as well. The apple of the cheek is uh, is the desire is the best place to apply your cheek color, in my opinion, because it gives you when you blush, you naturally start to blush here, and then it fades mm -hmm. upwards. So we have most of the color here on the apple of the cheek, and then we kind of lightly fade it up, just like you're blushing. And this 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 cheek color actually reminds me of someone that has a crush or is falling in love, and you know. It just gives that same look of that f just very faint blush when you're blushing or uh, when you are infatuated with someone. It's like your first love. So I love greatness and hopefully those that wear this and blush this color are destined for greatness in uh, their love. Thank you. This is um, one of two blushes that I'm creating. The other one's a warmer, we'll do that next time, but that's yeah. a warmer, more peachy shade. And this is, I think, a little more Sophisticated. Sophisticated, feminine, fresh. Yeah. And you can definitely yeah. see the freshness here with that great glow to the skin. Uh, just really effortless beauty, which the entire range offers. Final step is going to be a lip shade. So, Nude on B began with seven lip shades and right. one lip pencil. One lip pencil called Perfect. Called Perfect. And what we're going to use today is called Timeless. Both Perfect and Timeless are universally flattering shades. Anyone can use them, um, and you can mix them together if you wanted to to create a look, if you wanted to put a, a clear cloth on top of it. There are no limits to what you can do with the lip products uh, at Nude En Vie. I love this shade for this look because it's going to continue in this whole romantic, feminine, chic look. So we're going to align with Timeless, and I also love a liner uh, for the very sole purpose of one, creating proportion. I think it's so, uh, that's the purpose of makeup, really. Um, not only to accentuate what you love about yourself, but also to create symmetry and proportion in the face. So uh, for those who may have one side of the lip that's a little bit smaller than the other, you can easily fix it with uh, a lip liner. Or if you want your lips to have more, of a, more volume or the look of more volume, then you could just simply use a lip pencil to slightly overdraw the lip line uh, to get that desired effect. So without further ado, we're gonna use Timeless. Uh, to enhance and to accentuate the beautiful lips of Miss Isabel here. <laughs> okay. And taking it right on her lip line, because she already has beautiful, full, symmetrical lips. I have to admit, when I do it myself, I do go on the outside. On the outside? Yeah. Yeah, every I, you know I think that's one of the things that most women do is it's so personal is lip liner. Most women have their own technique mm -hmm. that they know and love, and I think that's one of the great things about again another of the great things about makeup is that everyone has their own unique way of doing their lips, and it's so easy to do with the lip liner because you can truly create the lip that you want. I think the number one rule is always use a lip liner with a nude lipstick. For Definitely. Sure. And always use a lip liner first. You'd be surprised how many people use a lip liner after, after they put the lipstick on, but it completely defeats the purpose. I love using a lip liner before and after because I don't know about you guys, but I am not perfect by any means. And sometimes just giving that final touch in certain areas kind of gives it a, a more of a finished polished yeah. look as well. So. You know, giving it one good and also filling it a little bit in the lip a bit. Mm -hmm. I love to do that because it kind of uh, increases the longevity of your lip product. Um, so, and this lip, this lip product is so beautiful. It can be worn by itself. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You could put a lip color, just a clear gloss on top of this, which Nude All does make one brilliance, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, illuminate. It illuminate, sorry, illuminate. Uh, illuminate, which is a clear gloss that can be worn by itself right on top of your, uh, your, your lip liner or on your lipstick as well. So, next step is going to be lip color. Which one are we doing today? You know, I'm going to do lips, and I'm going to play cool, warm, cool uh, on the lips. I'm going to take a little bit of a warmer shade lips on top of this cool to kind of create a neutral nude uh, that I think would be very flattering for this look. So, uh, taking lips, which is absolutely gorgeous.
and it's literally the perfect nude. And then finally, this beautiful cool shade Affection, which is one of my favorite glosses, has beautiful brilliance, a little bit of iridescence to it, um, and just a beautiful non-stick formula. You have to show the applicator because that oh, yeah. took me like a whole year to have that created. It's this ginormous um, applicator that feels so good. It's pampering, it's huge. It's like sticking it into a jar of honey and pulling it out and you get this nice, beautiful glob. And that's all you need. One dip is all you need. It's beautiful. I love this applicator and this this product. I love playing with it. So it's gonna apply, pop, 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 right in the center of the lips. I always make the sound. It's easier to make the sound than it is to say blot. <laughs> Plus, it's fun. And that is our lip look. Absolutely gorgeous. Really feminine and chic, and it's a perfect nude. One final product I want to share with you, and it's called Delight. And Delight is, um, it's a perfectly matte nude shade. Um, not so matte that it has a great amount of texture to it, um, but you can use it as a base for the shadow, you can use it beneath the brow. But what I love to do is take it in the center of the face as a on-the-go setting powder. So we're just going to take this, as our final step, just in the center of the face. Because typically when you see shine, you're going to see it in the center of the face. So taking it just there it allows it to, um, to maintain the integrity of the makeup throughout the day so you get longevity in your wear. Um, but also keeps this nice and glowy to the outside of the face so that you have an open look and it's not closing the face in. So I think it's just really gorgeous. I love how compact this is. It can, be fitted, it can fit into any evening bag for a quick touch up at a dinner party. I love your interpretation. I love the way you interpret how to use every single little product. I love it. You're a genius. Well, thank you. You're the genius you created. No, thank I you. am You're just happy to be able to play with it. I think makeup should be versatile and, ha and serve many purposes. And I think the modern woman uh, looks to have something that can serve several purposes rather than a makeup bag full of you know 20 or 30 products to create a look. Love it. I love it. You are a true artist. Thank you. So, I have one final request from you, please. Anything for you, anything <laughs> I want for you. everyone to see your beautiful tattoo. I All love right. it so much, I think it's so perfect. Look at that, it's the beautiful pink nude lips tattoo. And I think it's so gorgeous. Perfect for nude on V. <laughs> So, Isabel, thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed um, our tour, our trip of uh, down on our journey, shall I say, to creating the new sensual look uh, for Nude en Vie. And I hope that you get some insp have gotten some inspiration from it. Uh, maybe you want to change something, or maybe you want to change it, keep it the same way. But either way, I hope that you took something from it, uh, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And like to play with some of the products. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous and I think that anyone, uh, it would be an honor for anyone to be able to experience them because they truly are so special. Thank you so much. I think you're magic and Thank I am you. so grateful for you creating this magical look and making me feel beautiful, look beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank I you, Isabel. The pleasure is all mine. I adore you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you.